Welcome back to your Caribou Daily Science Channel, Spain. Today is uh, Sunday, March the 28th, 2021, and, uh, and because this is Sunday, you get two reports for the price of one. That's right, two reports for the price of one. You, of course, you get your daily COVID-19 analysis, and and you get the you get your weekly COVID-19 vaccine rollout report for the country of Spain. And by the way, if you haven't done so already, click the like button and also click the share button and share this video with one person today. That's all I'm asking. You share this video with just one person. Alrighty. Of course, also, if you haven't subscribed, by all means, click that subscribe button also and join the family. Okay, so let's go. Let's, be, let's begin with by running the vaccine rollout report. Just as a reminder, Spain does not record numbers on Saturday and Sunday. Instead, they add Saturday and Sunday numbers on till Monday's numbers. So, so this this is the total dose of the vaccine administered. So currently, uh, Spain is uh, well has administered 7.06 million doses of the vaccine. Okay, and so far the total number of people vaccinated is uh is four point. Huh. Okay. 4.5 million doses have been, 4.5 million people have received at least one dose. And uh, 2.5 million people have received the full, the full treatment, two, two, two uh, doses. What's this? Percentage of people receive at least one shot. We well, can see that's 9.7%. 9, 9 Percentage of the people receiving the full shot, 5.3%. Percent. So you have so if one source I read said you have to have 50 percent full vaccinated before you really start seeing the benefit. <clears throat> and unfortunately, like America, Spain, you folks in Spain have a have a long way to go. But let's go ahead and take a look at your daily COVID-19 numbers now. Okay, you can see Spain currently has uh, 3.2 million cases and 75,010 deaths. <clears throat> Mortality rate is relatively flat at about 4%, 4.5%. But as you can see, now this is showing a slight trend up, but on a, on a, on a, on a seven-day average basis, you can see that your cases are continuing to either decline or flattening out here, okay? So that's good news. Uh, unfortunately, the news for the deaths uh, has taken a turn for the worse these last couple of weeks. You can see that right here. You had, you had a decline to here, flattened, decline to here, but now you can see that your numbers are starting to climb back up again. So this is definitely a concern. Let's take a look at weekly cases. Well, yeah, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks in a row, your cases decline. But this last week, you actually saw an increase in cases. That's one, two, three, four, five, six weeks in a row, your deaths decline. But then you had this, this pretty hefty 2,000 <coughs> deaths for last week increase. Now, I'm wondering if there isn't a, I mean, that's, that's an awful big jump to go even from, say, 1,000 to 2,000 in one week. Makes you wonder if there wasn't a, uh, you know, some type of adjustment made last week. Okay. Monthly cases and monthly data. So, well, so I, I, I guess it's kind of a mixed bag <clears throat> for Spain is today. Uh, cases do appear to be trending down, but deaths Unfortunately, last week showed an increase. But anyway, thanks so much for stopping by, Spain. We'll catch you tomorrow on the second report. Again, don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to click the share button. And share this video with one person. That's all I'm asking. You share it with one person today, okay? Thanks so much, Spain. We'll catch you on another report.